Hi everybody, Dr. John here with Life Spa Ayurveda. And today I want to talk about nutrient synergy or the, the way nature combines nutrients to deliver a whole package of nutritional information for us. And that takes place in the foods we eat that come from the ground in a natural, non-processed way. You know, one of my favorite examples of that is like taking an orange, for example. And the orange has bioflavonoids in it with the vitamin C in it. And it turns out that the bioflavonoids and the orange themselves, they actually work together. It's not just the vitamin C that comes in nature. Vitamin C always comes with specific bioflavonoids, which is why I've done articles about eating an orange, but with the entire peel as well, because that's where the lion's share of the bioflavonoids live. Those bioflavonoids and this orange together provide powerful antioxidant benefit that can actually take fats in your body that line the cell membrane that are very vulnerable to light and oxidation and damage, and they reconstitute them and protect them from going rancid. And that's a really powerful thing. And in Ayurveda, we know that the tastes that balance your stress levels, your nervous system, are sweet, sour, and salt. Sweet is comfort food, makes you feel comfortable. Sour foods are lemons, and they're the vitamin C, citrus acid, vitamin C, and bioflavonoid substances that provide a stability of the fats in your body. And it's the fats in your body that calm your nervous system down, calm your vata, help insulate you and protect you from dryness and sleep deprivation and insomnia and restlessness during the cold, dry winter months with these warm kind of oils, which are protected by the oranges and the lemons, which are of course harvested during the winter months. Ever notice that? You get most of your fresh orange juice and all that during the winter months. There was an um, interesting report by the uh, Food and Nutrition Board in 2021, and they actually admitted that the dietary reference intake, which is, a, which is now called the DRI, used to be called the RDA, Recommended Daily Allowance, they actually said that they actually didn't consider what's called nutrient synergy in any of their recommendations. So everything that they recommended on terms of their daily recommendations was in isolation. However, nothing in nature is in isolation. I mean, absolutely nothing at all is in isolation. There's no calcium tree or iron bush. Everything comes in a cascade of nutrients, you know, engineered over millions of years to nourish the plant as well as nourish us. Um, but that was not considered in the DRI, so we have to sort of take that somewhat with a grain of thought. Now in Ayurveda, there is something called carriers, things that carry other nutrients into the deep tissues of the body, bio enhancers, things that actually support the delivery of nutrients. And some of those things are like, well, the most famous one is turmeric with black pepper. One study in 2000 at St. John's Hospital in Bangalore, India, was one of the first studies to show that if you take 16 parts turmeric to one part black pepper, you increase the absorption of the turmeric by 2,000%. And that's something we have called turmeric plus. You can also make that and cook with it in your own kitchen because it's so easy to do. Everybody's most likely has turmeric and black pepper right in their kitchen. And how important it is that when those two get combined, there's a nutrient synergy that's there that make them better. I'll tell you a quick story. When we, uh, we imported some turmeric and some black pepper. It was organic, and we check the microbes when they come in on both of the raw, all the raw material, and everything was fine. No bad bugs, all good bugs. Everything was good. No pesticides, no heavy metals. Everything was good. We put the, the formula together, 16 parts to one part turmeric to one part black pepper, and the microbes in there exploded. It was like they all got married and had babies. And it still was in the legal limit of what you could have in, a, in an herbal plant. But it was at the high end of that. And we retested the microbes. They were all good. And my manufacturer called me up and said, John, these are like probiotics. And I, and I said, well, this is what we call nutrient combining or nutrient synergy. When you put things together in the traditional way. In Ayurveda, there was a tradition of mixing foods together to make them more bioavailable or more potent as a medicine when you formulate herbs or foods. It was something that was 
really uh, well known and really quite different. Now in Western medicine, when we try to, um, or even Western herbology, we try to increase potency or bioavailability, we just take the herb and we try to extract it with alcohol and try to find, concentrate the, the, what we think is the most powerful chemical, like the curcumin in turmeric, which is just really one of 300 constituents in turmeric. It's not the whole plant by any means. And studies show that if you take all the other constituents, the other 299 constituents of turmeric, and you compare it to curcumin alone, the one which everybody thinks is the most potent, and it is potent, the other 299, the rest of it outperform curcumin on a regular basis. And when you take one of the 300 constituents and make it into a concentrate, it becomes more like a drug where you're going to have some really powerful medicinal benefit, but you're going to have with that consequences, some type of side effect, like some cells. Studies show that turmeric can increase stem cells, but curcumin at a higher level can actually block stem cell production. So there's a lot of studies that I've written about turmeric saying, hey, before we go into curcumin or a concentrated extract, which can be very medicinal, don't get me wrong, but whenever you're taking a medicine, you want to weigh the consequence, right? And when you're taking the whole plant, you're taking a food, which has the natural occurring microbiome and the, the actual plant chemistry with it. When you combine the microbiome of a plant and the plant itself, the chemistry of the plant, it's called the holobiont, which is the actual the combination of the two, which is considered to be the most valuable part of the plant, which is why you want organic food, because if you eat foods that are sprayed with pesticides, right, you killed all the microbes. Well, the microbes turn out to be part of the intelligence of the plant, just like the microbes in you are a huge part, maybe even all of the intelligence of you, right? When we sterilize us or sterilize mice, they're completely different. So it's so important to understand that you and I and the plants and the herbs, they are not whole unless they have their naturally occurring microbiome on them, right? So, and there are things what are called um, um, endo, uh, bacterial endophytes, which are bacteria that live on plants. And they have been shown, those bugs, to be responsible for the growth rate, the immunity, the biochemistry and the herbal potency of that plant or food that you're eating. So it's really all about that, that relationship between the bug and the plant. And certain bugs like certain plants in certain seasons, which I've written so much about eating in season. We put together a three season diet eating guide where you get recipes and grocery lists for every month of the year. So you understand what you should be taking in every month to keep your body in sync with the global annual circadian rhythms, really, really important. So I love herbal extracts, but I use them quickly. I get on them, get better, get off. And if I'm gonna take anything long-term, it'll be a whole herb because that'll inoculate my gut with the right bug. And if I can do those in season, even better, because you're getting those bugs for that gut in that right season, which is how nature organized it all. Um, there's another aspect of Ayurveda called Yoga Vahi, which is about nutrient synergy as well. Yoga Vahi means that whatever you take is going to enhance the benefit of other things that you're taking. And there's no better example of that than a herb called Shilajit. And we have our Shilajit right here, our Shilajit Plus, which has um, been shown when you take that with, um, when you take that alone, it increases the ATP, adenosine triphosphate, which is the energy production in your mitochondria of your cell. There's another enzyme called coenzyme Q, which is also shown to increase ATP energy as well. But when you take the coenzyme Q with the, um, the shilajit, it's been shown to boost the production of the ATP of way above and beyond what you get with just the CoQ10, and even way beyond what you get with the, with the shilajit alone, you actually get this yoga vahi enhancement of the benefit. Shilajit is one of those herbs, one of the few herbs that in Ayurveda, there's a medica, Muteria Medica, their kind of herbal textbook, it's got over 2,000 herbs in it. It's the only one that actually has been linked to being called a sort of panacea where it supports the benefit of everything. And it was discovered in the Himalayas where the Sherpas would eat this black powder and um, be able to smoke cigarettes at 20,000 feet and seem to be 
kind of immune to high altitude. And it's because of the fulvic acids and the humic acids that are in the shield jet that carry the nutrition into the deep tissues for you. And that's why it's called their bioenhancers as well as their, their uh, what's called yoga vahi. They make everything else work better. Ghee, coconut oil, olive oil, all these really good oils have been shown for many, many studies to be carriers of nutrition into the deep tissues. You take a little bit of olive oil or ghee with your coffee and it doesn't give you that blood sugar spike, it stabilizes it. Take it with some sweets, it sort of stabilizes it if there's enough fiber in that diet. Vitamin C and iron, you know, has been shown to uh, heme iron, which is the iron in animals is very easy to digest, but the iron in plants, and there's plenty of iron in plants, it's hard to get it out of the plant. But when you take that plant with vitamin C, it actually releases the iron from the plant and makes the iron more bioavailable. It's called nutrient synergy. And in Ayurveda, they knew for thousands of years that this is how you should formulate herbs, like when they formulate an herb called basuela, which is a resin, a very heavy herb but amazingly for healthy for the gut and the lining of the gut, as well as one of the most powerful agents for joint health. There's an enzyme called the 5-lipooxygenase enzyme, which is responsible for inflammation in your joints. And turmeric and basuela both block that enzyme. Well, turmeric and ginger and, and basuela have been, been combined for thousands of years to actually enhance the effectiveness of these sort of heavier herbs like the turmeric, like the like the, uh, the basuela, to make them more bioavailable and make them work better for you. And that's the beauty of Ayurveda, is these herbs aren't just thrown together because we have a study about this and a study about this and a study about this. We put them together because the lab says they should work. I can tell you that I read studies for a living and formulate herbs for a living. And I would formulate herbs based on the studies and they don't work. In real life, they don't always work. The science doesn't always translate into what you see in medical practice or in my herbal practice. Um, so, so that's what I fell in love with Ayurveda was because when they would formulate things, they formulate them with such intelligence about the synergy of how these plants work together. And now we're seeing articles and science that I write about in the article associated with this video where you can read that science and go, oh my God, there you have it. There's this whole new wave of understanding herbal medicine and foods, something called herbal or nutrient synergy or nutrient combining, as opposed to food combining, nutrient combining in terms of the foods you eat, something we should all start to look at. And if you're watching this on my website at lifespy.com, the article's there with all the science. You can read about it while you're there. Sign up for our newsletter. Get this information every week in your inbox, as well as check out our Ayurvedic store. We have all the Ayurvedic herbs, organic, and the Ayurvedic skincare are also organic for you to check out on your way out. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Guillard. Do you like this video? Don't forget to subscribe and share. This recording is brought to you by LifeSpa, where ancient Ayurvedic wisdom meets modern science. Get access to free health video newsletters by Dr. John at LifeSpa.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease.